Hi, hi, hello. Good to see you again. We are going to start branching paths and we're going to get it we're going to get it working kind of at the end of this. You'll see, you'll see. Off camera, I have set up two new characters. This is Jenny and this is Taylor. Since we've already gone over how to set up characters and I didn't really do anything fancy, I'm going to let you do that kind of on your own. You don't you don't need to watch me. Just I'm going to be a little bit respectful of your time. Come in here to the timeline. I'm going to get a bunch of this out of here. We'll fix it later. Don't worry about it. Um, Cleo is our main character, so she's going to get the first line. We'll come back to this in a second. Come up here to... Yeah, these... Is that three lines or four lines? It doesn't matter. It's add timeline. And I'm going to put this in the timeline folder. And I'm going to call it... You can go in any order, but I'm going to call it Jenny. We'll start with her one. Save it. This is going to be... What we're going to do is Cleo's going to be hanging out at the bus stop. And she's going to be like, wow, who should I hang out with? And then the choice is going to be Jenny, Taylor, or Margie. And she's going to choose. And then we're going to have a scene with the character that our person chose. That's how we're going to get splits working. So this is Jenny, right? Yep. I have to have both of them join. And let's... At a background, I off camera. Oh, off camera, I did give you um, Jenny and Taylor's portrait. They're in the resources for this tutorial if you check the description. And you all already know how to get the backgrounds. Which one do I want? She could be in the cafeteria. That sounds okay. Just so that I remember. They're in the street in the beginning, and then for Jenny, they're going to go to the cafeteria. And we'll give them something to say. Whoops. Right here. I'm going to have Cleo say. This visual novel is not winning any awards, but if I sat here and wrote something wonderful, you would not want to wait through that. So I've just got some test dialogue in here. If you want to write something wonderful, go off, Hoss. So we're going to declare Jenny done for now. Come make a new timeline. Let's make this one Margie one. By the way, make sure that you give your timelines really obvious descriptions because otherwise you're going to go nuts trying to figure out where everything should go. Mark, no, this is going to have to be Cleo, isn't it? Cleo, we're going to stick Cleo on the left every time. Do, 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 do. We're also going to have to have Margie join. Uh, Margie's going to be in the right. I want a background. Uh, we've been in the cafeteria. Margie can be in the classroom. Obviously, Margie's in the classroom stressed out about her math test. Ooh, let's do that for the text. We'll have Margie say, Ugh, I hate my math test. All right, now I'm going to have Taylor do something. Da, da, da. We gotta have Leo join at the left. This is a lot of clicking, but a lot of times with tools that aren't code, this is just what it is. Who is this? This is Taylor. Taylor's gonna come to the right. Where's Taylor gonna be? All right, sounds like Taylor's gonna be in the hallway. And we'll have Taylor say, it's good to see you today. Let me show you something really quickly. All right, I, I said this earlier, but here's a graphic to illustrate this. I did this on my iPad. If you're interested in it, it's a really great app called Colonote that lets you just draw with the Apple Pencil. Or this could be done on paper and pencil. It could be done in MS Paint. But either way, make yourself some kind of outline so you don't get too lost. Our story, we're going to go to the bus stop and then we're going to choose a path. Do we want to hang out with Margie? Do we want to hang out with Jenny? And I apparently spelled it wrong in this. That's okay. 
or do we want to hang out with Taylor? We're not going to get this far this time, but just because this is a tutorial, after we hang out with one of these three, we're going to go to the ending. Let's go back to Godot. How do we, how do we get out to all these new timelines that we made? We can see them over here, by the way. Let's go back to timeline one. There is a button over here called choice. Click it. Nice. This makes a um, little choice box come up. I'll show you in a second. But we got to give the user some choices and then they'll click and then a something will happen. In our case, we're going to switch the timeline to the friend that the user picks. Let's do Taylor first. So the choice box is going to say Taylor. Uh, let's give him another choice. Yeah, that looks good. This choice box is going to say Margie. And this choice box is going to say Jenny. This works a lot like block coding if you've ever done like Scratch or Code.org. It's stunningly similar. Right now, pretty much all it's going to do is pop up the list of people. I want Cleo. No, I don't want Cleo in the middle because I would block this. But if we pick, doesn't do anything exciting. But it does make the choices come up. There is a block over here that we can use. It's called jump. Now watch when I drag this. The pink line has to cover jump up like I've got it right here. If we choose to hang out with Taylor, I want us to go to Taylor's timeline. The beginning is fine. Let's put a jump here. We're enclosed, so that's correct. Uh, Margie should go to Margie's timeline. Put a jump here. Jenny should go to Jenny's timeline. Nailed it. I I think this is a visual bug in Dialogic. This blue line should come all the way down here. And in some, some tutorials, I've seen it work correctly. Some I haven't. I don't know. But let's hit play. So, all right, Cleo's like, whoa, who are we going to? I need to change the dialogue. I want to hang out with Taylor. So it takes me to Taylor's timeline. Number one rule of testing games, make sure you test everything just to make sure it all works. I want to go see Margie. Oh, Margie's so mad over that math test. She is tilted. Last one. What's good? Oh! And here's why you test everything. Hi, Jenny. Why are you huge? <laughs> do, do, do. I gotta go into the character, Jenny. She looks like that little peg, and her scale needs to be set to 50. All right. Now let's do it. Wow, it's so cool that I want to go see Jenny. Nice to see you, normal size Jenny. So that's your basic start on how to do branching paths. We're going to we're going to do more with branching paths in the next tutorial and I will see you there. You have an excellent one. Take it easy. Hey, real quick before you scoot. I am on buymeacoffee.com. It's kind of like Ko-fi and Patreon together. If you found this video helpful or useful, I would appreciate you coming over here and checking this out. If you are willing or able, you can donate on this page. Thank you.